forget to subscribe our channel erosion and dilation so generally that particular erosion it is commonly said as removing the number of pixels so erosion that particular word is we might have heard like soil erosion so that particular soil erosion means the soils are moving our apart from a particular place so like a natural disaster the same erosion technique here we are using to dehance a pixel after dehancing if that particular picture is viewable to you that is one sort of application over there so that image you will be able to take it up to uh, many kinds of functions like uh, uploading it in some parts for example if you are going for some of the uh, other than machine learning and deep learning like augmented reality trainings and all means this image portion should be compressed and uh, many of them might have seen whenever you are just uh, going to that uh, uh, government portals if you are trying to upload your photo and there will be the required size so this must be the size to upload uh, your photo so this and all it is done by the process of erosion but whenever we are using that particular techniques and all inside the software there the erosion technique is not highlighted if you just ask to that uh, person who is designing in photoshop like reduce the pixel or reduce the size increase the brightness i like that and all if you say means he will be just adding that particular required things and for each and everything a scale variation will be there erosion it is one of the type of image processing which is used for image enhancement section so this particular process it can be said as uh, morphological operations like to remove the number of pixels from a particular image by using the lat lattice function and at the same time this can be removed for both gray image as well as the color image but at uh, 90% uh, everyone will be using this kind of process for gray images only this erosion and dilation for color images nowadays they have found the technique as like uh, removing the brightness or moving the scale variations inside the photoshop itself they have now dilation dilation is other part of this morphological technique which expands the image based on the pixels so if you add that particular number of pixels means according to that the pixels orientation also gets changed over here but here we are doing only the process for that particular size for that uh, increasing or decreasing those kind of sections and all it can be done only with the help of uh, some of the implementation inside a filters or processes depending upon that as we are doing the simulation parts of the image processing only that pixels are added or pixels are removed those portions can be checked if the pixels are added at the maximum range the complete image will be white if the pixels are removed for the complete or the maximum range therefore it will be in black so this is only that particular process of erosion as well as dilation now let us get into the code so here the same clear and uh, morph just i have given the comment as morphology clear screen everything is being provided to see this particular image in a good manner i am just using i am show i am not using any of the subplots to provide that erosion and dilation it is very simple first we are providing the im read then im show this will be known as the original image and co converting into the gray scale so this is for background subtraction like yesterday whatever we have seen so after gray scale uh, that binary sections will be provided over here so from that particular binary only here we will be able to separate the background now how to dilate that particular image means the same gray image we are taking and after that i am providing the function named im dilate so by using this im dilate therefore uh, from that particular background subtraction the value is provided and therefore the dilation gets applied which expands the amount of pixels the same thing if you go for im erode same value only which is known as the ratio so this particular ratio only here we will be applying it for contraction so this separation value only here we will be able to take as a complete sections over here but this uh, black and white conversion it is completely different and finally by using im show we are displaying all the images so now i am running it and therefore the process has been completed and uh, the image has been displayed so here only the last image has been displayed okay so this is the original image which has been converted into the gray scale and this is known as the dilated part and this is known as the eroded part on the same ratio now if i want to 
change that particular ratio here. I can change that particular line variations to 0, 30. Now I am running it again. Now you can see since that particular ratio has been changed. So therefore, everything has returned to its fully evaded and fully applied. Now I am changing only that erosion part. Now I am changing into 70. So this erosion and iteration, it uh, normally takes in the form of iteration process. So continuously the pixels will be removed. So this will be that particular intensity variations. So he, you guys can see now how that particular erosion and dilation is done. Okay, only slight changes only there if you are just changing that uh, parameters. Okay, so this makes the exact color over here. Now what happens if I apply the same morphology technique for color image? So instead of gray, I am changing it as VAR. So this is the process of erosion and dilation. So now I am just changing the image. Okay, so this comes under the eroded and this comes under the dilated. So you can see how that pixels has been enhanced over here and here how that particular pixels has been removed well compared to the original one original one you can see even though after zooming only this much portion we are able to see like this but these are not like which we have seen now for a normal zoom itself these many pixels we are able to see or these many errors we are able to see this is the other part of error one inside the color image thank you for watching our video if you like this video Kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.